everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Bob. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, No Man of God. Just came out, just popped up. I get an email saying, hey, it's out. So I'm going to watch it. I'm kind of excited. Um, it's about the an FBI analyst, the FBI analyst, if you want to say, Bill Hegmeyer, um, and how he met with Ted Bundy during like the final years of his death row sentence, right, from 1984 to 89, I believe it was. Um, and Elijah Wood plays the FBI informant. Um, Luke Kirby plays Ted Bundy. I don't know. Um, very interested. I'm always interested in this kind of stuff. It's 6.5 on IMDb. Only 184 people have rated it so far. So, hour and 40 minutes long. I'm very intrigued. I watched, I think, the Ted Bundy Files on Netflix or whatever that's called. Craziness. So, it'll be interesting to see what this is all about. Uh, I'm going to get into it here a little bit, find out what it's about. I'll tell you and then let you know what I think. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching No Man of God. We're at the 53, sec 53 minute 28 second mark. A um, little over halfway. Um, and I have to say, it went by quickly. Although, I mean, like, I wasn't even sure how far into the film we were, and I was like, well, let me check. I was like, well, okay, wow, we're, we're over halfway through. It goes real quick, even though 90% of it is just the two of them. Uh, just Ted Bundy and Bill Hagmeyer, you know, you know um, Elijah Wood and whatever the other guy's name was, in a room talking. I mean, that's really 90% of the film. There's not much else to it. And I was, I was thinking, too, I was like, there, there seemed like there was a lot more actors on the IMDb thing than, than what we're seeing. And there are. Um, and, and it's progressing a little bit here and there. And they, but they talk most of the time, and you're listening to them. And then they show weird, I don't, I shouldn't say weird, but like clips of like 1970s and 80s home movies. I don't know who they are or what they're involved with. I don't think they're Ted Bundy, because they don't look like it. But, you know, it's just like... It was like that. It's like a break in the action kind of thing, and they show this montage of home movies from the 70s. Um, I don't know. Uh, but really, it, it is really interesting. Um, you know, I, I don't know how much you know about Ted Bundy, but, I, uh, you know, he's told, as the, the theory goes or whatever, he's very, very intelligent, uh, studied psychology, um, maybe got his degree in it. I don't know. He was getting his law degree, but, like, very cerebral. Um, kind of person and so Bill Hagmeyer as well the FBI agent also went to school for um, psychology and the whole reason he's there is they started the whole theory on profiling so if you get to understand some of these serial rapists serial killers serial whatever what their characteristics are you know what makes them tick what makes them angry you can profile so that you understand and maybe can prevent it from happening again Sorry if I, um, you already knew that, but that was the whole point of um, Bill um, Hagmeyer going in to see Ted Bundy so that he could help understand all of that stuff um, and create a profile on a serial rapist and killer. Um, and that's, that's what's going on. So it's interesting to see them go back and forth to see, you know, like how smart Ted Bundy really is and how he is communicating with Bill Hagmeyer, and it's over years. I mean, now in this part right here, it's 1989. It started in 85, so they've been talking for for four years. Um, and uh, it's coming to the point where now the governor has signed for him to, um, to the death penalty, uh, which I think is the electric chair. I'm not sure exactly, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, but we knew that happened. That, that happened to Ted Bundy, but it's getting to that point. There's still a lot of the movie left, so... It's interesting um, to see this. Oh, and, and this is all based on the transcripts from the actual meeting. So this is essentially as close to true as you're going to get, I think. Um, but who knows? Uh, so I, I'm finding it terribly interesting. I'm, I can't wait to see where it goes. But you also see, I don't know if I mentioned this, they're, they're, they're like becoming close. You know what I mean? Bill is sharing personal information about him, so on and so forth. So they're kind of almost building a friendship in a sense so there you go that's what I got let me get back to it uh, a lot of information there for just two people talking for 53 minutes really but uh, we'll see where it goes from here and uh, give you my final thoughts stick around I'll clear up the room. 
Hey everybody, we're at the credits here of No Man of God. Um, just ended. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Very, very interesting to kind of get in that mind of it. Um, while I felt it was good, and I know it was from maybe the perspective of the FBI analyst Bill Hagmeyer and everything that you know he had done through, I don't feel it was deep enough. Um, I thought, and I, maybe that's you know what I mean. Like, let me put it to you this way: if you're really looking for in-depth information about everything that had gone on with Ted Bundy and everything that he had done, that's not really here. They do give you glimpses, little, I mean, little insight to some of it here and there, but it's really, it's, you know what I mean, and I think I was thinking that way going into it, and, and that's not what happened, but that's okay as well. I mean, you get enough. I mean, everybody knows what kind of happened, but this is more about the relationship between the two of them, the, you know, their minds, you know, working together. I don't know. That's not really what I meant, but you know what I mean? It's like the, you know, back and forth between them and how their relationship was built and and what becomes of it. Uh, I thought, you know, so so when you look at it from that perspective, I think it's, it's very, very interested, uh, interesting. Um, I thought Elijah Wood did a great job. I thought the guy who paid Ted Bundy, I thought he did pretty good too. I felt, um, you know, from seeing some of the actual footage of him, they're very similar, um, and he did a lot of good mannerisms um, and talking like him. So, you know, I thought that was pretty pretty good. And, and all in all, I think it was a very interesting story, and I'm only a little bit let down because, I don't know, I expected something more, I guess, to reveal some sort of secret. You know, and I think that's what I was thinking. That's not that's not what you're, that's what, what this movie's about. And that's my fault. Might not be yours. But in the end, um, a lot of, you know, just one-on-one. -on -one. There's not a lot of other characters. There are some, you know, you think about uh, the other people who are involved, the people who are against the death penalty, and it was the electric chair. So um, that's, uh, you know, what the death penalty was in that state. And, uh, you know, people who are against that, um, you know, whether you're for it or against. And, and so they have to stand up for people like Ted Bundy so that they don't get it. Um, but uh, that's it. That's That's really... All I got. Uh, not much else there. There's not much else to tell. Good acting, I felt. Um, interesting story. No secrets revealed, but now you know a little bit about the FBI analyst who went in to Ted Bundy right before he was going to get the electric chair. And you find a little bit more about, yeah, I mean, what he was all about, what really made him tick. And that's it. <laughs> I was going to say more, but I'm not, because if you haven't watched it, I want you to watch it and see what it's about. If you're into these kinds of things, if you're interested in, you know, uh, Ted Bunny's story, I think you'll absolutely have to watch this one. Only 180 some odd people did so far, so I'm encouraging people to go ahead and see it. Go into it with the right mindset that you're just going to get good acting. It's more of a, um, I don't know, it's more of a movie on psyche, I guess, than it is on action or detail. There you go. That's what I got. So hopefully I was helpful. If I was, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to my channel. That'd be fantastic. Um, and that's it. Continue to tune in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.